So if you're wondering why I think you should start playing this game right now, let me just go ahead and give you a preview of what's to come over the next couple months, if you haven't seen it yet. Everything in Felicia is under my control. We cannot afford to waste time. Do I really need to do this myself? Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Warbolt. Welcome to my new and improved revamped Epic 7 Beginner's Guide series. So, as you can see, I'm on a brand new account here. I just cleared up to the end of Chapter 1 going through the adventurous path here um if you have no idea what this is yet this is basically what you're going to be doing throughout the entire beginning of the game you're just going to be going through this collecting rewards and doing whatever it says All right so that's what this is basically you know do this do this do this do this um first i want to interject in here right now if you're planning on re-rolling for any specific character during your selective summons, and that's why you're looking for a beginner's guide video. You will do that as early as here. Like, you can almost do that basically right when you start the game. You do your selective summon. I highly recommend, no matter what, um, just grab Sigrid as your five-star hero. Just, just grab her. Um, and the reasoning why you want to grab her is because she transitions really well into the content that you're going to be doing the majority of the time for you to get gear in this game, which is the Wyvern Hunt. The reason you're going to be doing the Wyvern Hunt over pretty much everything else, unless you're doing some niche thing. And, but if you're doing some, if you're being a Banshee gamer, you wouldn't be watching this video. To any new player, I highly recommend just farm Wyvern, grab Sigrid. Um, the reason why you're going to be farming Wyvern over the other hunts is because it drops a speed set. Um, Sets in this game have bonuses here. Speed set is a 4 out of 4 set that gives you 25% speed. It basically, um, units in this game, they have substats on their gear, right? On, on every piece of gear. These are just low level pieces of gear, right? So, speed, basically, like, I don't, I don't need to really explain it, right? S speed set is the most efficient gear that you can get. And it's universal across pretty much any character. You can use literally every character in the game on speed set. That's why it's the best place to farm. That's really it in a nutshell. Like, I don't really need to go more into it than that. Um, what you get alongside Sigrid, it doesn't really matter. Um, as long as you get this unit, if you get any four stars next to her, any four star artifacts next to her, it's just a bonus. Throughout playing this game, you're going to be pulling most of that stuff throughout the time anyways. So just focus on getting Sigrid. Um, save the summon. Go through the rest of the summons just in case you get a better option with Sigrid. Just make sure you record it and then you confirm it like I do here. With that being said, I want to run down through a couple things you, I feel like people just need to know when they're starting an account. Okay? There's always a web event running here. It'll say event just like this. You click it. It'll bring up a little bit ban a banner. Um, excuse the booba. This is just the one that's going on right now. Um, they actually revamped these to where like pretty much you just play the game and you get you you build this bar up. Doesn't really matter what you do. Um, it gives you free stamina. I highly recommend recommend doing this every single day. Like it's just free stamina, right? Um, stamina is sky stones. Sky stones is money. This is free money. Just make sure you're doing it every single day. And you come down here and there'll be something else you click. They're like niche little clicky games and whatever. You get rewards and then the more often you do it, eventually you'll unlock these. All of this stuff is really good. This is basically a, a free unequip scroll or whatever. I think I, I think the duration is like, I don't know. I don't remember what the duration is. But it basically lets you unequip your gear for free. And you can use it whenever you 
Well, actually, I think you got six days after you claim it in here. So what a lot of people will do is they'll actually leave this in here as long as possible until the event is about to end and then they'll claim it and then they'll have six days after that. So you can kind of hold on to it for longer, right? And then what I recommend, highly recommend doing is when you claim your stamina, don't just take it out of your mailbox, okay? This is a really important thing. Oh, what the hell? There's a beginner's, what is this? Beginner's guide. Watch the story animations. Oh, this is new. I've never seen this. This is neat. Okay. I have never seen this, but I guess this is just more free stuff that you get. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, let your stamina build up in here. Claim it before it expires or when you need it, right? Um, and the reason I say that is because you don't want to overcap stamina. If I claim any of this, I'm overcap stamina and then it's not recharging anymore, which isn't good, right? You want to be efficient. You want to save your money, right? Um, this I'll talk about in a minute. Um, with that being said, there's also events here. You go to event. This top thing right here, uh, watch an ad and give Arky a snack. Watch the ad give free energy. Um, they kind of don't throw this in your face that you can do this, but you can watch five ads a day and get 20 more energy that will also build up in your mailbox here. That's what this is from. You've received an ad reward. So that's what this is. You can let this energy all build up in here over time. So do this every single day. Don't forget about it. Let it build up. Save your stamina for, for special weekend bonus events that they do. Then you'll dump it all at once while you're farming gear and stuff. Or progressing through the game. Just just hold on to your stamina. And with that being said, Skystones. This this is your money, right? Skystones here. Literally, it's it's your money. Like, see? Players. It is money. Skystones is money. Don't just willy-nilly spin these whenever you get them. Trust me. Let them build up on your account. Um, be very, very stingy with them if you're going to be free to play. If you're a whale, you spin however you want. But if you're going to be free to play playing this game, you need to be really stingy with these because this is going to be your key to getting units that come out. They're very generous when with giving them to you across the game. Um, you can use them to refresh stamina here. So 30 sky stones is 60 stamina. So that's why I say save up your stamina in your mailbox here. Because like I said, this is your money. Literally directly translate into money. So stamina, sky stones, money. See? Um, and then you also have these leaves here. Hold on to these as long as you can as well. Um, if you're going to refresh your energy for any reason, use these. Don't use these. Unless, um, like, a hunt event's going on and you want to use your Sky Stones for farming, that's okay, or whatever. That's that's future thought. But um, as a new player, just hold on to every single Sky Stone you get. Don't spend them unless, uh, like, there's a limited unit or something out. And speaking of which, there's actually a limited unit out right now. Um, she's not fantastic. Like, if you notice on the banner here, it says limited summon. Um, if you're a brand new player, it might not be a bad idea to progress in the game a little bit, get some bookmarks here, and then re-roll for this un a limited unit, if there's ever a limited unit alive. Bas or live. It basically means, you know, this unit's not going to be back for a year. You can't pull it from the general summon pool. You can't pull it from dailies. It's just locked behind this banner, and her artifact is as well. So, for brand new players, if you see a limited summon banner, it's not a bad idea to try and pull the unit early and then reset the account if you don't get lucky. It's not a bad idea. So with that being said, um, Moonlight Blessing. So once you progress through your story path a little bit ways, right, um, and you complete the first chapter, you get this Moonlight Blessing, okay? They just recently added this to the game. This is why I'm updating my guide. Um, Moonlight Heroes are very rare. They're very expensive units. Um, one of these units equates, like if you were to pull them on a Mystic Banner to, I think it's, it's around, it's like $500. Like if you're going to purely spend to get them to pity. These are very expensive units. Take extreme care you do not pick the, a bad one, okay? The only two that you really want to pick from here are Arbiter Vildred and Spectre Tenimbria. If you want my opinion... I think they're both fine. Um, go with whatever one you like more. Spectre Tenembria has a skin. 
which is really cool. I think I can show it to you here. Um, mind you, it's going to probably uh, cost you $50 to get. Um, where is it? Very good skin. Very, very good skin. Okay. Um, very, very good skin. But, yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start on this account here with Arbiter Vildred. I think he's better for pushing through story content. You Basically, with doing this, you don't get the unit right away. So, I, I'll show you. Um, yeah, it is possible to reset Moonlight Blessing one time, okay? So take very care with this. Don't don't make a mistake because like I said, this is your money. This is $500 unit, okay? So I'm going to confirm this and basically like as you go through the game, eventually you can fully unlock the hero. So basically you cannot use this for PVP or anything yet. And another good side note is if you want to skip tutorials, just wait a second and you can skip them up there. And get rid of it. So these are the conditions to completely unlock this unit. Like I said, you can reset it once. I'm pretty sure it gives you a confirm screen. Yeah. So when you reset it, it gives you this. Upon resetting, you'll lose the hero. Any equipment equipped to the hero and materials used to enhance will be returned. And you'll be able to do a new connection. However, you can do this only one time. What I'm going to do on this account and what I highly recommend most people do is start out with Arbiter of Vildred, use him to help you progress through the story, and then when you're ready to unlock the unit and you're a little bit later into the game, swap the Spectre to Nimbria and take her instead because she's going to transition way better into late game PvP and PvE content. I honestly think she's the better option, but if you really want to stick with Arbiter Vildred, he's absolutely fine too. It's really up to you in that regard. Me personally, I would take Spectre to Nimbria because... She's literally the best unit in the game, I think. Arbiter Vildred's really good, but he's not as useful now as he used to be. He's still very, very good, though. So it's, it's really just up to you which one you want to take. That's how I'm going to do it. What you want to do is just keep keep progressing through your uh, adventurer's path here. Um, eventually, you'll get to the labyrinth here. There's a little shopkeep in the labyrinth named Hoochie. Um... You want to visit him every day. Uh, um, I would show you in this video. It's in my other it, beginner's guide. If you really want to go check it out. I show you exactly how to do it in there. Maybe I could just reference that video in this video. Or, or clip it. Or just show you right now. What I'm talking about. Okay so here we have Hoochie. You want to come here. Get in the habit of buying these charms. Um, this is a terrible example. Because he only had one. But yeah. Then just yield out um, normally. So yeah, when you do that, you can grab charms and etc. Let those build up. You don't have to spend your charms right away. Just hoard them. Hoarding in this game rewards you big time. It's not a bad idea to hoard your resources. Okay? And then, just another quick tip. A lot of the... Um, adventurer's path things will tell you to enhance gear uh, what I recommend doing is stick to weapons because when your characters are low level they benefit more from a flat stat over a percent stat right so like upping these boots here won't give you as much health here as upgrading the helm that has the flat main stat right um if you're looking to clear through the story faster, then you upgrade weapons, you get more attack, you do more damage, you clear the story faster. Um, and you could do that with Arbiter Vildred as well. So, yeah, I highly recommend taking him to clear through story and then deciding who you want to pick. Remember, you can only do it once. I'm, I don't know how many times I've said that in this video. I just want to make it very clear. You can only reset the Moonlight thing once. I've heard several people mess it up. Don't mess it up. $500 unit. Don't mess it up. Okay. And then um, that's pretty much it for like the bear base. This is the stuff you need to know right now. Um, I guess another thing I can mention is there's usually a side story going on. But um, yeah, I can't even enter it yet. And at the time of recording this video, 
Um, you can go through, make sure you do all of your uh, things here. Collect all your rewards. Hoard these sky stones that they're giving you. Hoard these charms that they're giving you. When you're enhancing gear, use the, the random trash that drops from the stages that you're doing. If you absolutely need to use a charm, throw a charm in there, but do your best to hoard them as much as possible. You'll, you'll literally be using them the entire time you play this game. It's a free spirit Tiaria, okay? This unit you unlock literally, uh, I'll show you where. You unlock her literally like right here. So here's chapter one. Here's chapter two one, chapter two two. You unlock her here and then you literally just go talk to her and it gives her to you. I did not realize, okay? It gives you the unit with max skill enhanced now. I didn't know this. I, I didn't know they made this change. This is insane, right? So, what I'm seeing here, like, you're, you're going to use this unit in conjunction with Arbiter Vildred to just blast yourself through the story. Um, she's a very good free-to-play unit. I will actually pin uh, my initial thoughts on her when she was first released into the comments if you want to see what I really think about the unit in depth. Um, that video is very old now, but probably still relevant. One thing that I noticed that actually is going to really help here as well um, Remember that little beginner's guide thing that we saw here? It actually gives you a bunch of penguins right here at the beginning. Just from clearing 110, you get all these penguins. This is a boatload of experience, okay? And what you can do is you can take those and you can throw them in the free spirit area and max her out to level 40. Which will in turn, like all the experience that would go to her, you start collecting and you gain penguins while you're farming through the story. Um, I'm not exactly sure how far Arbiter Vildred will go up. Oh, they're in. Wait. Oh, yeah, it takes him to level 38. So, honestly, what I would do, since she's already got her um, Mola skill, Mola's enhanced, I, I would take her and literally just bounce her up to level 40. She hit a good there or a great there. That's great. But, yeah, it, it actually uh, completes some, some of your stuff there, too. So... Can't promote her just yet, obviously, but now that she's max experience, you can start accruing experience to get more penguins, and then you can use those penguins to level your other heroes even faster, so you can funnel the experience that would be going into her into your other units. So you'll be progressing a little bit faster. Um, so these are your packs here. Um, I'll just go through, like, value stuff, right? Um, this is good value, I think. Um, the rank, any pack that ranks up over time is good value. Like this is good value, good value, good value. Um, daily summon packs, good value. The, no, uh, whale pack. Um, leaf packs are, eh, they're okay. The, the welcome pack is, I mean, it's $3 for, you know, like basically a summon. You know, it's, it's you could buy it if you want. It doesn't really do anything. Um, the two best values are the two monthly packs and the newbie pack. Um, this is really not much either, but decent value. I mean, the, the newbie packs are just to get you to spend a little bit of money, you know. Um, the best ones are definitely the monthlies, uh, the rank up packs, Molagora packs. If you and Burning Passion is really good too, if these are ever around, these are only around during special events. And then going down, um, transmit stones, hoard these, okay? You're gonna want to buy this every single week. So once you start accruing these, don't just come in here and spend them and, and buy a lesser artifact charm, okay? Save them, buy these every week, okay? If you get gold transmits, save them, buy these, okay? We're just going to go through this really quick. Powder of Knowledge, hoard it, okay? It's another resource you're going to hoard, just like I was talking about in the first video. Um, sometimes you might want to buy charms. I strongly recommend just don't buy charms because you want to buy this every month when you can, Okay? This is a, a free limit break to any artifact in the game. It's five star. You want to stock these up as well. Like I said, hoard, right? Um, different artifacts will pop in here that are very good. You might want to buy some of those as well. Save your powder, right? Friendship points. Buy this energy every day. Um, I was talking about don't overcap yourself in energy. I already broke my own rule. But um, the day is going to reset pretty soon. I want to make sure I grab this before it goes away. You get friendship points just from clearing through story. Come here and buy this every single day. It's good value, right? Um, ancient coins, you'll start gaining these in Labyrinth. Um, hoard them as much as possible. Really, the only thing you're going to be spending here, ancient coin-wise, is you're going to be buying ring, char ring charms as you need them. Um, 
Just but for the beginning of the game, just just hold on to him until you get some really good gear. Conquest points. I haven't unlocked arena yet on this account. Buy this every week. Molagor is very important. Speaking of which, get into a guild as fast as you can, just so you can start buying the Molagor every week there as well. Um, you can buy this energy if you want to be hyper efficient. Uh, spin your flags and buy this energy. You know, as your flags recharge. Um, I should also mention for your friendship, you can buy five flags every single day, one time a day, and then you can do that. Um, you can go through here. There's some really good gear in here, okay? Um, and it's gotten pretty cheap. So like this, this set. Wow, this set is cheap as fuck now. Holy shit, it's already down to 360. That's not bad for like it's okay for entry level gear, right? But I don't think you want to buy that first. You want to buy the speed set. So remember, I was talking about. Like you're going to be spending most of your time farming speed set. You can use it on pretty much any unit in the game. There's some really good pieces of gear that you could buy for here. This is just for PvP. Um, you'll just accrue this currency and I'll do that. Um, you can also start getting conquest points from the uh, Sanctuary, which I'll probably talk about in the next episode to this. So stay tuned for that. One more thing. Um, if you're watching this right away, right now we're getting a five star selector okay um there are probably dozens of videos out there right now because it's easy content for people and people are definitely looking for that kind of content right now on what unit to pick you can definitely watch some of those if you want my opinion i'll just give it to you really quick most of these units do not pick them <laughs> okay uh if you think a unit is cute like this one, I don't know who the fuck would think this is cute. Excuse my French. But don't pick this thing, okay? Don't pick her because she's cute. Don't pick her because she's cute. Um, who, who else is cute? Um, she's pretty good. Uh, yeah. If you want my opinion on who to pick, like, like she's gorgeous, right? Don't pick her. Um, I think for a brand new player, the absolute best option is Tamarin here. Like, honestly, I would pick Tamron right now, but I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this account. I don't know if I want to rush RTA. And the reason why I'm saying I don't, I don't know why I want to pick her, if, if I want to pick her or not, she's a great PvE unit. But if, if I'm doing some kind of challenge on this account to where, like, I want to rush RTA, then picking her isn't going to do much for me if I'm trying to rush RTA. But for being efficient, you know what? Just to show you guys, like, who you want to pick. Uh, I did. There you go. Just take Tamron, okay? If if you're actually watching this at the time of Twinkle, this going Twinkle. on, just just your star in the just take Tamron. Trust. She will. You'll literally use her the entire time you play this game. She tr transitions into late game very well. She's one of the best soul weavers in the game, hands down. Just take her. And uh, yeah, I guess that's gonna wrap this up. Look forward to the to uh, making the next video here. I'm gonna keep progressing through this account, and I'll do an update, you know, sometime. A little bit in the future maybe when um you know a couple new things are unlocked and i'll make sure i cover everything as it's unlocked that way you can kind of follow along and see what's going on um if you want to see these uploads right when they go live i'm going to be doing them pretty frequently you know drop me a like on the video to show that you enjoy the content hit subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get notified when these videos are going live so you can try and progress with them if you're not you know going super hardcore you know and we'll progress these accounts together, right? With that being said, I'll catch you later. Peace.